lot of the problems that have occurred in the financial markets recently have to do with what are called credit default swaps, or CDS. What these are are insurance policies for people who buy bonds. Now, when you buy a bond, you're essentially making a loan to a corporation or perhaps a government. And there's always a chance that the corporation will go bankrupt. If they do, then they won't be able to pay back your loan. The simplest form of a credit default swap would insure a single bond, but this is not really where the market is. And I should say, this is an institutional market. You as an individual investor cannot go out and buy a credit default swap. This is something that large institutions buy uh, to protect their portfolios. The typical face value covered by a single CDS contract is $10 million. Many of the large financial companies, such as AIG, were selling these insurance policies called credit default swaps. What you would do is you would pay a premium, like with any insurance policy. Typically, you'd pay it quarterly over a period of five years. And that would uh, have the effect that if any time during that period, uh, the company whose bond you bought defaulted, you would get a full repayment of your principal from the insurance company. You can also insure yourself in a situation where you own bonds of several companies. For example, suppose you own bonds of five different companies. You didn't think it was very likely that two of them would default, but maybe one would default. You could buy a policy then, known as a basket, which would say the first time any one of those five companies defaults, you get a payoff, and then your policy is ended. So that would protect you uh, in the more likely case that one of those companies defaulted, would not protect you if more than one defaulted, but you would pay a much lower premium than you would if you bought separate insurance for all five companies. The problem is that when you get to more complicated securities, such as the mortgage-backed securities, which were also insured in these ways, that it becomes much harder to figure out what is truly the probability of default. The other problem in this market is that it's been totally unregulated. As a result, there was no requirement for the insurance sellers to have enough cash to back up the insurance policies that they were selling. They assumed, because of the ratings, that they probably wouldn't have to pay off. And so when there were a lot of failures, such as the one of Lehman Brothers, uh, there wasn't enough money available to pay off the obligations. And this is one reason why a company like AIG needed $120 billion so far of capital from the federal government in order to be able to continue in business.